What's up everybody, it's Dylan, welcome back to another video. Today I want to address the fact that there has been a rumor going around stating that the next Call of Duty, whether it's Black Ops 3, War to War 2, or Fighting Pirate Ninjas 12, uh, that it's only going to be released on the next gen consoles, which means if you have a 360 or a PlayStation 3, you're going to be left in the dust. And we've kind of already started to see the transition. Obviously, when a new, when a company comes out with a new console, uh, example, the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, they're going to start only making games for these consoles so that everyone that has the older consoles will go out and buy the newer ones. Uh, and you know, we saw this with every other gaming console out there. You saw it with the original Xbox. I remember back with my original little black square Xbox, and uh, and they came out with the Xbox 360, and they only started making games for that, and then everybody that had the old Xbox was kind of left in the dust. And that's kind of what they're doing now. Uh, and they tried to force it. They tried to go really quick because I remember back when Call of Duty Ghost came out, it was actually months before that game came out, where they announced that it was going to be the last game made on the 360 and the PlayStation 3, which I'm not sure if they were talking about just Call of Duty or if they were talking about all games together. Uh, but I remember specifically they did say that uh, that Ghost was going to be the last game on the 360. And that kind of scared me because at this point in time, the Xbox One had just came out. It was $500 and there's no way, or it was like $400, 500 I don't even remember, $500 maybe. Uh, and I didn't want to go blow hundreds of dollars on a brand new console when I had a perfect perfect console right here. Granted, it is the original original white Xbox 360 with 12 gigabytes, but still, it's awesome. It works fine. It's got all the games that I play on it, and yeah. Uh, so I was kind of nervous. I was like, I don't want to go and spend hundreds of, hundreds of dollars on a brand new console when I've got one right here. And uh, I remember when Advanced Warfare came out, it, it was still coming out for the 360. And the big reason behind that was because nowhere near as many people went out and purchased the brand new console as quick as the, the developers thought they were going to. And uh, honestly, I, I understand. I mean, who's going to go out and blow all this money when you have a console right here that works fine? What's the point? Uh, you know? So, um... I personally think that it might only be on the next gen consoles that this new game this new Call of Duty that's gonna come out might only be on the next gen consoles they haven't announced it yet hopefully it will be on the 360s I don't have to go out and get one uh, but it's it's they've given us a lot of time to go out and get a new console they've slowed the transition they wanted to do it really quick but they realized that not everyone was gonna go along with it so they they took more time and, and it might be the time because I've noticed there's a whole lot of games coming out now that aren't on the 360 and PlayStation 3 that are only Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So uh, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if uh, if Black Ops 3, War at War 2, or Fighting Pirate Ninja Monkeys 12, whatever, whatever I said, is gonna be uh, is gonna be only available on next gen consoles. So you might actually have to go out and get one. Although I think the Xbox One is only like $350 or three three hundred fifty dollars I think right now. So. Um, we might have to get one. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of biased. I, I, I kind of want it, but I kind of don't want it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I wanted to talk about today, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.